A freshman San Antonio City Councilman is leading an effort to expand the city's non-discrimination ordinance. It's also referred to as the NDO. The one on the books right now in the city protects people from discrimination based on a variety of factors, things like race, age, and gender identity. But when it comes to businesses, the current ordinance only protects people working with companies that have city contracts. Garrett Berger tells us about the effort to include private companies under the NDO. Some have asked, why do we need an expanded ordinance? And the answer is simple. People are still experiencing discrimination. San Antonio's first openly gay councilman, Jalen McKee Rodriguez, is leading a push to expand the city's non-discrimination ordinance, or NDO. He wants the ordinance to apply to private businesses with 15 or more employees, too, as well as contract employment. He suggested penalties to include limiting access to city contracts and public funding opportunities. People are hurting and they're not receiving the help that the NDO promises to provide and so it's time to self-correct that. There have been a little over 100 complaints related to the current NDO since it was passed in 2013. But McKee Rodriguez says instances go unreported and the head of the LGBT Chamber of Commerce says discrimination is happening. I received phone calls from individuals that were discriminated against at their employer. Um, they were terminated for that uh, recently in the past year and a half. I've, I've had that happen. McKee Rodriguez and four other council members have signed a council consideration request asking the full city council to take up the issue. With a sixth council member, Phyllis Villagran, showing support at today's press conference, the idea ostensibly has the votes to pass. The request will now go to the governance committee, which is chaired by the mayor. So McKee Rodriguez says the ball is now in Nuremberg's court. At City Hall, I'm Garrett Berger. KSAT 12 News.